the WSO, who came in strongly at the beginning of last season, have just tightened up a few more scenarios. Firstly, with the foot faults. Can you believe it, all those uh, guilty parties out there that like to charge out the service box? Lisa, just give us a bit of insight into the foot fault ruling that the PSA, uh, the WSO, will be looking for with the players. Well, it's not a new rule for a start, and it's also not really a new directive. You have to remain with one foot in the box at all times when you serve. But what we're starting to see more and more as the players look to buy more time, get that central position on the court er as early as they can, they're kind of swiping their leg out of the box before they've actually made contact with the ball. There was a lot of fans noticing it yeah. um, on squash TV last year. So it's not a new rule. It's just a new directive. It's a directive that they're looking to tighten up and knuckle down on, which has to be the case. No player should have an, a, an advantage to get the middle of the court. Well, as you made that point, saying it's nothing new, they're just tightening up on it. It's the same with the kind of time-wasting and the descent and the behaviours. That was a, a strong point that was made last season. It's been uh, even more uh, looked at this, this time. And we've had a, already had a situation with Ferroz, Dasuki and Tarek Momin, Johnny, earlier today. Yeah, it was eight all in the fifth. And uh, Dasuki opted to go sort of into the back of the moment on that backhand side. Now, there was a uh, there was a match uh, almost two years ago where Dazuki did that against Paul Cole. It was at the Motor City Open. There was uh, no squash heavy there. I think he got away with it there. Today, he did not get away with it. And he'd already been warned and given a conduct stroke for behavioural issues. And this one was for coercion. He was trying to influence the referee's decision. He yelled out stroke and the conduct, stroke, uh, conduct game ended the match, of course. So I think that Roy Gingell was well within his rights to do what he did today, given those, those directives we've seen. Well, we're going to have a look at it now. This was earlier today at the club, just by the glass court. That is now a conduct game, okay, which is actually a match because you're trying to influence me, and I cannot accept. I cannot accept that. But that is a conduct game. That is match. To moment. Conduct is match to moment. Conduct game, yes. Because you are trying to influence my decision. The match is finished. Conduct game. Well, Lisa, I mean, we're looking at that now. Those two have had some ding-dongs over the years, both very vocal when they're playing their matches. It doesn't matter who they're playing, they're usually talking to the referees. Do you think that was kind of justified, what happened there at such a crucial time in the match? Yeah, I mean, Johnny made some really good points earlier just, just on it there. The thing is, Faris Nazuki has been warned because he was making comments before trying to influence the referee. So he's previously been warned, he's been penalised for it in that match, and he didn't stop. So the directive has come in, conduct game. He's well within his rights to, to dish that out because he hasn't hasn't followed the rules. He's still trying to influence Roy Gingell's decision. Yeah, this, it's not like this pattern of behaviour is something that's new from Tafaris, to be honest, Joe. You talked about matches at moments. Hey? We saw the one in Blackball, and, and there were, that was yeah. a real sort of bitty affair as well. So yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised, given those eight points that we saw listed, that, that the, the gavel fell today. And, and unfortunately for Suzuki, it fell on him. Well, Johnny, just um, just while we're on the on the WSO with the the time wasting, we're playing in warm conditions here. You know, it's going to be warm tonight. It's still it's been it's been warm through the day. It's still warm in the evening. Players will need to be wiping. Um, they'll they'll be taking their time, and you can kind of it, it's, there's been a guide of about 15 seconds. There's not going to be a stopwatch necessarily there. There might be. Um, it will be tough. I mean, that's when it does get tough for the players, where there's that kind of a bit of common sense and adaptability. And, and these conditions are going to certainly test the referees and the players with, with those directives. Yeah, the, the 15 seconds is maximum, you know, so there's no, there's no minimum set. It's all about discretion. So the referees are going to have to sort of take into context the run of play and what's going on. Are the rallies long? How, how much are the players hurting? What stage of the match? So tough job for the refs, mate. Really tough job.